Did you know when it comes to building an airplane, size matters? Although bigger airplanes have some disadvantages regarding fuel consumption and the ability to maneuver in the air, they generally have the advantage of carrying more people and cargo over long distances than their smaller counterparts. Airlines are always looking for bigger and more efficient planes to fly their customers on the most direct routes possible, leading to some of the biggest and largest commercial airlines ever built. The world's biggest airplanes can haul hundreds of passengers long distances over the ocean in comfort and ease. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 10 largest airplanes ever built. But before we get into our list, have you ever wanted to earn $10,000 per month online? If the answer is yes, then make sure to check out the link in the description to find out how to start your journey to financial freedom and start living the life you want. Now let's look at the 10 largest airplanes ever built. Comment below what you think the largest plane on our list is. Number 10. Lockheed C-141 Starlifter The Lockheed C-141 Starlifter is a military strategic airlift jet aircraft designed to carry human payloads, people and cargo over intercontinental distances. It was operated by the U.S. Air Force and numerous air carriers from 1964 until its retirement in 2014. From 1984 to 2010, it was also operated by NASA, which used modified versions for several of its space flights. With an overall length of just under 170 feet, the C-141 could haul more than 70 tons of cargo or up to 200 passengers over a distance of 4,000 miles without refueling. A typical crew included three pilots and five or six flight attendants, depending on the mission type. As many as 19 people could be carried on board. In total, 1,182 C-141s were built between 1963 and 1991. The final production model was originally designed in 1964 as a strategic airlifter with a rear loading ramp allowing cargo to be loaded and unloaded while parked on runways. It served during most major conflicts of recent decades, including Vietnam and Iraq. About 200 remain in service as of 2013. This aircraft also has an unofficial nickname, Old Shaky. The next airplane is number 9, Antonov AN-70. The Antonov AN-70 is a large military transport aircraft designed by the Ukrainian aerospace company Antonov. It is powered by six turbofan engines and was designed to replace older Soviet-built cargo planes. The AN-70 can carry up to 170 tons of cargo over 6,700 miles without refueling. The plane has been deployed since 1992, but has yet to enter service with any nation's air force. Only two prototypes exist, both built in 2001. The second prototype crashed during testing in 2002. No one died because it was unmanned at the time of impact. The AN-70 has a payload capacity of 28 tons, which puts it on par with other heavy military transports like the C-17 Globemaster III and A-400M. It also has a range of up to 3,000 kilometers, that's 1,900 miles, which could theoretically reach South Africa from New York. The AN-70 can carry either 100 troops or 80 paratroopers and their equipment. However, due to cost overruns, only three have been built so far. Two prototypes and one production model for Russia, and no orders have been placed since 2008. Boeing YC-14 In 1966, Boeing began developing a large cargo aircraft that could carry 150 passengers over 4,500 nautical miles at speeds of up to Mach 0.75. Let's take a look at number 8, the Mil V-12 Mi-26 Halo. The Mil V-12 or Mi-26 Halo is a massive twin-engine multipurpose helicopter. It's one of the few select aircraft of any type to be labeled gigantesque, and deservedly so. Mil's original design was created with help from both American and French engineers, making it something like Russia's equivalent to America's Lockheed C-5 Galaxy Transport. Of course, that doesn't tell you much about how big and heavy these things are. Moving on to the next, number 7, the Boeing 777-300ER. With a maximum takeoff weight of 975,000 pounds, that's 422,734 kilograms, and a length of 231 feet, that's 70 meters, it is one of the airliners able to transport over 550 passengers. It was launched in 1994 and can carry up to 468 passengers. The first commercial flight occurred on November 28, 1995, when an Emirates airline plane flew from Dubai to Karachi. 
The 777-300ER has been involved in four crashes, including Asiana Airlines Flight 214, which landed short of San Francisco International Airport on July 6, 2013, killing three people and injuring 182 others. The crash resulted from pilots' errors after confusion arose between pilots regarding whether they were landing at an airport or a runway next to it. Number 6. Antonov AN-124 Ruslan This beast of an airplane is a Russian transport aircraft. It was originally created to transport space rockets, but has also been adapted to transport other types of cargo. It is easily one of the largest airplanes ever built. In fact, it's so big that it has been nicknamed Condor for its similarities to an actual condo and for how intimidating it looks when parked next to other airliners. It can hold up to 150 tons of cargo, about three times more than most commercial planes, and requires six engines to take off. The Antonov AN-124 Ruslan was also used during Operation Iraqi Freedom by U.S. forces for transporting military vehicles into Iraq from their bases in Germany. Boeing 747 In terms of size, you cannot get much bigger than a Boeing 747 jumbo jet. These are some of the largest passenger jets ever made, with enough room to carry over 400 people. They're so large that they have special instructions on emergency evacuation procedures, because there's no way you could fit everyone on board through regular exits if something went wrong mid-flight. The next one on our list is… Number 5. The Boeing 747 The Boeing 747 is a wide-body commercial jet airliner developed by Boeing in the 1960s. The 747 is among two passenger jets in production that Boeing has continually manufactured since then and was designed to be a larger and longer-range replacement for its smaller four-engine predecessor, BOAC's Lockheed L1049 Super Constellation. Today, it remains among a few such airliners still in production and operation worldwide. Although not considered as large as some later aircraft, it has been described as the first jumbo jet. Since its introduction in 1970, over 1,500 examples of various models of the 747 families are in service worldwide, with over 19 operators. Its distinctive hump upper deck, along with a rear fuselage with six 787 engines, gives it an unmistakable appearance and makes it one of today's most recognizable aircraft. Along with being one of the longest continuously produced commercial aircraft, it can carry up to 853 passengers with a maximum payload of 253 tons, that's 757,000 pounds, or 569 passengers in a typical three-class configuration with a maximum range of 8,300 nautical miles or 15,200 kilometers. It also holds several world records, including carrying more international passengers than any other aircraft and being the largest commercial aircraft ever built. The fourth airplane is the Boeing 747 Large Cargo Freighter. The Boeing 747 Large Cargo Freighter, or LCF, is an upgraded version of regular 474s. The LCF has a cargo capacity of 600 tons and can carry two standard container units. There are only five LCFs in operation around the world. One was delivered to its first customer, Korean Airlines Co. Limited, on January 11, 2012. That particular airline was used to deliver parts of seven different airplanes currently manufactured by Airbus Industries SA. The first LCF delivery went smoothly. The aircraft took off from Payne Field at 1.32 p.m. and arrived at Incheon International Airport near Seoul, South Korea at 3.45 p.m., with no reported problems en route. The plane landed without incident as well. The other four LCFs are operated by United Parcel Services, that's UPS, and were delivered between September 2011 and December 2011. Number 3. Lockheed C-5 Galaxy The Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is a large, multi-mission United States military transport aircraft. It was designed and built by Lockheed, making it one of only three military fixed-wing aircraft with a completely uninterrupted production run from initial conception to today. It has a capacity of up to 102 troops or 170,900 pounds, that's 77,250 kilograms of cargo. Developed from 1965 to 1969, it first flew in 1969 and entered service in 1971. Its distinctive features include four high-bypass turbofan engines, six wheels on each main landing gear assembly, and a unique cargo door arrangement called the Sultan's Door. 
The C-5 is among the largest military aircraft in use today. In addition to its duties as a troop carrier, freighter, and medical evacuation aircraft, it performs aerial refueling missions and can carry out tactical airlifts when equipped with additional fuel tanks. Military crew members refer to it as the Gaul because of its superficial resemblance to its smaller predecessor, the Lockheed C-141 Starlifter. Number 2. Airbus A380 The Airbus A380 is a double-deck, wide-body, four-engine jet airliner manufactured by Airbus. Its variant seats between 525 and 853 passengers in typical three-class seating layouts. It was first delivered in 2007 and remained one of Airbus's most recent wide-body airliner models. In December 2010, Airbus announced a new generation of its super jumbo jet dubbed A380 Plus, which features new engines with 25% more thrust than today's models. The new engines will increase payload and longer range capabilities for existing customers while opening up new possibilities for future operators. The most massive plane in the world is, number one, the Antonov AN-225 Mria. The Antonov AN-225 Mria is a strategic airlift cargo aircraft designed by the Soviet Union's Antonov Design Bureau in 1988. It was initially built for transporting and launching satellites. However, it was later converted into a heavy transport capable of transporting up to 250,000 kilograms, that's 551,000 pounds of cargo over intercontinental ranges using its 6x6 carriage system and 12 engines. In terms of size, it remains one of the largest airplanes ever built. It has been operated since 1989 by Antonov Airlines, based in Kiev, Ukraine. However, it was sadly destroyed in the recent war. These massive planes are impressive to see and will leave you in awe when you see them fly. They all have impressive size, length, wingspan, and capacity. If you ever get a chance to see one of these planes fly or get to ride one of them, it is quite an experience. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below as to what your favorite plane is. See you next time.